Okay, so I'm going to take you through pretty much a day of the life, what I'm eating and kind of what's going on in um, prep right now. So it's actually a leg day today, so we're slightly adjusting the carbs, going for a higher carb intake, really drop the cardio down and um, just trying to like force as much nutrients into the quads as possible. So we're really bumping the carbs up today, like I said, pulling the cardio back just to try to volumize the quads. So first things first, I've just done my morning cardio, I actually did 20 minutes this morning on a leg day followed by the sauna and some posing. First things first, when I get back, I always make sure I start my day by taking my digestive supplements. Everything that's good for my gut health and will help improve digestion for the food that's gonna come in today. So, without fail, I'm always taking my Project Haiti Good Morning and my Graze and then some added glutamine in there. Now, Good Morning is an amazing product that they just released. It basically helps start your digestive system for the day and clear your digestive tract. So in here we have like apple cider vinegar, we have some added L-glutamine in there as well. We have like lemon juice, tastes amazing as well. Then I use the formula grazed, which is a greens formula. Again, got probiotic in there as well. Um, it's great for digestive health and just making sure your digestive system is ready for the food that's going to come in. Now, I can't stress the importance of digestive health. It's, it's probably the, one of the most uh, underlooked aspects of bodybuilding. We need to make sure our body is absorbing everything we're putting into the body. So, these two products work absolutely amazing and they taste good. Even though it is orange and chocolate, it's like chocolate orange. So first things first, gonna have this shake, then I'm gonna take my morning supplements, which you can see there. Obviously that's a bodybuilding scoop, a nice heap scoop. That's how we do it. Everything we do is bodybuilding scoops. And then I just add some glutamine. Glutamine is one of the best supplements for gut health and repairing the gut lining. So I'm actually gonna do 20 grams in the morning. There's actually already five grams in the, in the morning there. So I had an extra 15 grams. So I'm gonna shake this, take my morning supplements, and then I'm gonna show you what we have for breakfast. So, first things first, these down the hatch. Right, today, higher carbs for meal one. So we actually have 130 grams of cream of rice. So I've actually done 200 grams of turkey breast, 130 grams of cream of rice, 140 grams of blueberry and 25 grams of honey. That is my meal one for today. I actually like to mix the turkey with a cream of rice and then add some spices, just because I find it's um, easy to eat, like turkey on its own is really dry. A nice high carb for meal one, then we'll have another meal and then we're gonna head to training. So I'll show you my food today, but let's get this meal down the hatch and let's get this day started. I was like thinking, it's leg day, where the muffins gonna come in, you know? I was hoping I'm gonna get some like Costco muffins or some shit. Clearly not. So this is my cream of rice here. You can just use a plain cream of rice um, and use turkey and I just add some spices in. So I keep it pretty basic on prep right now. I actually cut all sauces out just cause I felt the, I felt like the sugar alcohols in all the, in all the sugar free sauces were just bloating me. So I try staying away from like all the sauces as I get a bit closer because I just find it just stem my midsection. So I'm trying to keep everything nice and tight, stay away from that. So uh, we just use spices, so some smoked paprika in there. Turmeric, which is actually a really good um, anti-inflammatory as well. And gives it a little bit of taste. Then we have some cinnamon, which I'm gonna put on the blueberries and cream of rice. Again, good digestive product. And then we're just gonna put some salt on there. So usually I do around six turns of salt per meal. So I've got some way of monitoring my sort of sodium intake to a certain extent. I don't really monitor it in grams, but I just know that if I do X amount of turns per meal, it keeps it consistent. And that guys is meal one. So I'm gonna eat this now, get it down the hatch, and then I gotta go get a haircut, which I've already showed you guys. So I'm not gonna bore you again and, and show you again. Apple watch for steps. Get working. <laughs> Ah, step plunker. It's gonna eat this on my beautiful new sofa. I, I bought this sofa the other day. Show them, show them why you love it. And it's the best sofa. Check this out. 
what if it broke, like, in the neck? I swear once you get in the sofa, you don't want to go out. Yeah, don't use Ross, use so, Dorigo Ted. I'm gonna hit massive cardio and steps just to keep busy because I want to work out. Okay, so we're just putting together my post-workout meal. I'll eat it straight after training. So I don't do any shakes or anything after training. I actually eat immediately after training. So post-workout meal, which is 300 grams of white rice, 100 grams of beef, and 100 grams of turkey breast mint. And then I'm gonna have my pre-workout meal before I go train. So like I said, today it's a leg day. It's not a high carb day, it's just a leg day. So all we're doing right now is we've actually bumped the carbs up higher Drop the fats a touch. The protein pretty much the same. So basically, just, basically just trying to push more carbs on a, on a leg day, and you know we just reduce the, the fats a little bit. So calories are probably pretty similar. So 100 grams of beef. I hope there's 100 grams of beef left in here. <laughs> this looks like a fucking very very poor amount of beef, but it might be close to 100. If not, we're just gonna have to put some on. I think we might just get 100 grams legit. Check this out, this is like, gonna be bang on 100 grams. Okay, so, bang on 100 grams, luckily. And then we're gonna do 100 grams of turkey rest. So that's post-workout meal done. Take that with me to the gym. Eat that meal after training. I know some guys don't like to eat after training, like, I've actually always been fine eating straight after training. Um, I prefer whole foods over shakes, personally. Just find it's better for sort of metabolism. Your body has to break down the food. So I try to use as much whole food as possible. I, I, don't get me wrong, like I believe like shakes are a great place, you know, to have if, if you've maximized appetite. And you know, then it can be good to, to kind of utilize some easily digestible food sources, you know, whether that's in carbohydrate form or protein form. This fucking Tupperware is a bitch to fucking put on. <laughs> it's like you have to put your whole weight on it. Ugh. Look at that shit in. I swear Marissa does this in like two seconds. Why oh, it's being special? Ah, see? Fuck. It's a pre-workout pump just from doing that. Okay, so that's post-workout meal done. Easy. So for example, on a normal, normal day, my rice is around 300 grams, so it's just a small bump up. Same with like my cream rice this morning, it was 130 gram. Usually it's like 100 gram. So it's just a small bump up on leg day, and obviously we're trying to not do as much cardio just to make sure legs are super fresh before we go train. That's kind of the only real changes today. Like I said, it's not high carb day, it's just a leg day diet, so slightly adjusted to have more carbohydrates, less cardio. I'm actually training with one of my clients who's uh, I believe studying here, so he's only a young kid. He's actually gonna come and I'm just gonna, you know, teach him a few things and because he's been sending me quite a lot of videos of, of like day training, I said, look, just, just come jump in my session. You know, come train with me, like at the end of the day. I love to help like young kids out, so that's gonna be pretty cool. He's gonna come and train, push him hard. Kind of enjoying these sessions right now because as you know from my previous back workout, my volume has been taken out a lot, which, really allows me to focus on like connecting and putting everything into my leg workout. So I actually really like to use shrimp on prep, off season. I just find it's re really easy to digest for me. And it sits on the stomach nice and light. And Marissa hates cooking fish in the house. So with this, I can just buy it frozen and then literally just put it in, in here. And it doesn't stink the house out because she refuses to cook white fish. She's okay with cooking salmon. So that's post-workout meal, pre-workout meal in the microwave. Then I'm just gonna get my intra-workout ready for the session today. Actually utilizing some intra-workout carbs today again, because leg day, like I said, we keep, I keep saying we're pushing the carbs a little bit higher on leg day to keep the legs nice and full, um, to drive more carbohydrates into the muscle. We're actually using a little bit of insulin today as well um, for the first four meals. Only a small amount, like three, four, I use a meal just to help volumize and, and shuttle the nutrients in for this leg day. So all that's around training. So my first two meals, my post-workout meal, and then my, my fourth meal, you know? And like I said, just three to four IU. I don't actually ever really use insulin as well. Very, very sparingly. Um, but we are start, gonna start introducing our leg day just to help keep them full. I actually do that with a lot of my clients as well, especially if the body can handle it. But I don't like to use it as a tool 
you know, con constantly. I like to use it as and when needed. And you know, like I said, on a leg day, it's good. So we'll kind of see the fullness this brings because I did take some pictures this morning. So I'm actually really interested to see how uh, this higher carbohydrate day with lower cardio plus leg training plus a little bit of insulin actually helps uh, when it comes to how I look tomorrow. So that's those meals done. I'm gonna show you intra workout, what we're taking today. Okay, so intra workout nutrition. This is the bad boy Aminator. I swear by this stuff. You get EAs, BCAs, leucine, L-carnitine, everything in there. It's got hydration complex containing coconut water as well. So it's a great intra workout product. It's got all your aminos to help protect the muscle, but it also it's got a hydration complex in there to keep you hydrated during training. So we're gonna do one and a half scoop of this. I like to get around 15 to 20 grams of aminos intra workout. And then I actually have, we have raging full here. Carbohydrates come from cyclodextrin. It's a great carbohydrate formula. It sits in the stomach nice and light. Also has a pump formula in there as well, which will help, you know, volumize the muscle. So EAs, BCAs in there, along with an amino acid complex, full amino profile and a hydration complex. And then we have raging full for a carbohydrate. So we're doing one and a half scoops of amino tour, the lemon flavor I love as well. And then we're gonna do 30 grams of carbs coming from raging full which also tastes amazing. So this lemon flavor though is, I don't know, I've just, it's become my favorite flavor. I actually am monitoring my water intake as well right now. So I'm trying to do about seven liters a day. So I just use the gallons um, as they're just very easy for me to monitor. And then we're gonna do 30 grams of carbs. 30 grams in there. So 30 grams of carbs and 20 grams of amino. That is intra workout bang some ice in there to keep it nice and cool. And that's my intro workout nutrition. So if you are gonna head to AD, check out them out. My code is Dorigo10. And that is intro workout done. And then it's time to pretty much eat and go train. I am probably gonna do a pre-workout today uh, because it's leg day. So we'll maybe get some black energy in or some shreddable pre, but let's see. See how I feel. Both of them are crazy strong, um, but I wanna push legs hard today, you know? So definitely gonna do a scoop of nitrox pre-workout and then um, you know some caffeine in there as well just to help me really push these sessions. So I'm gonna put some ice in here, get this pre-workout meal in, and then we're gonna head to the gym. So very, very simple with the condiments. Like I said, I'm really been trying to just keep it really basic. Six grams of salt, put some pepper on there. I actually like to use some apple cider vinegar just for taste, but it also is a great digestion product as well. So I actually use a little bit on certain meals. I'm trying to eliminate all the sauces from the diet. Mix this up, put this in, and it's leg day. Becoming my favorite day of the week. And I don't know why, because usually I hate trim legs. I feel like my spoon's too small. It's like a dining spoon. Leg day done. It's pretty fucking brutal and hard session. Obviously gone came down. It's really good to train with like someone like him because they're just young and hungry, man, and I fucking love it. Just reminds me of myself when I was a kid. They just love to train. Um, so we had a really good leg session. I'm sure he learned a lot. And now time to get my meal after training. So obviously I have my post workout meal, which you guys seen. This is my fourth meal of the day. So we've got 250 grams of rice and then 200 grams of turkey breast mince very simple like i said today is leg day so carbs are higher fats are lower just a touch lower on the fats like i usually have some nut butter in meal one and some avocado in my last meal and an extra salmon meal so we're just switching up a little bit and changing the the way the macros if you want to say are, are arranged to just push more carbs so 200 grams of turkey breast and 250 grams of rice let's get this in and then i've got deep tissue which is going to be nice because my legs need it after that leg day in the san diego if he does end up doing the bachelor and then he has to plan mj's bachelor party so just had some deep tissue work that's why i look half asleep always try it i always try to get deep tissue after i've done legs just so that the dogs isn't as bad the next day um so that's done so now time for meal five so we're gonna do 200 gram white rice and 250 grams of salmon so like i said this is a, a lower fat day usually i do two salmon meals a day because it's leg day, we've gone higher carbs, a little bit lower fat. And I just got steak before bed. 
25 past 7 now, so usually my last meal is about 9.30. Most of the last 70 shows, I'm an old man because I'm in bed by like 9.30, 10. As soon as it hits like 9 o'clock, I'm, I'm done for the day. Go straight to bed, then get up tomorrow and do it all over again. So tomorrow's actually a rest day. Always take a rest day after leg day. Works out really well. So that's my meal there. I'm just going to put pretty much the same spices that I use on the majority of my other foods. Gonna get this meal to drive in, have a shower, move your have meal six, then get to bed. Every carb meal I'll do a serving of matador and ravenous and zinc carnison, I think it's called, just to help with digestion. So I'll ravenous, one serving. I usually don't do one serving, I'd usually do like one to two capsules, the same with the GDA. The zinc carnosine with every meal in my stomach. So that's that, this meal done, you can see, nothing fancy, salmon, rice, some spices in there, then one more meal, and time to sleep. Hello, usually you eat a lot more leading into that next show, because my body's just burning through everything. So anyways, it's a muffin pump, but it's also a cookie pump, because, my uh, mom, for one, <laughs> Wawa was pretty much out of muffins, I got the last couple, but that's what we're doing today. So we got two scoops, Okay, so I'm so ready for bed. It's like quarter past nine. I can't wait to get to sleep. So I'm gonna get my last meal in and probably just hit the hay and crash. Rest day tomorrow as well, so I'll probably have a little bit of a line, which is great. So last meal of the day, slightly higher carbs today. Very simple, it's just 225 grams or eight ounces for you Americans. 96.4 lean beef. I'm gonna have that before bed. I'll probably use the same spices as I do for all my meals. Especially with mints, I found that like mints gets a little bit dry, so that's why I like to use the apple cider vinegar just to make it a little bit easier for me to eat. So 225 grams on the dot there. Let's see if I can close this. This one's, Why is this one easy to close and the other ones are like crazy hard to close? So buy that in for like, I don't know, two minutes. And then I'm gonna make my poop shake. This formula here is what I have before bed, along with my PM supplements. I actually use the Fiber Plus. Now, anyone who's used Fiber Plus knows how amazing this product is for digestion and gut health. It contains soluble and insoluble fiber. Also, you've got a probiotic in there as well to help digest the food. But what's great about this product is it makes you go straight to the toilet in the morning. And I swear down, it is the best product for that, nothing beats it. So check out Fiber Plus, this is the mango flavor, they do mango and chocolate. The chocolate's actually really nice as well. But I'm actually starting to become a big fan of this uh, this mango crush flavor. So great to detoxify the body, eliminate toxins, help your digestive system, clear your digestive tract for the morning. Um, really, really rate this product. Anyone with any who feels bunged up, you know, feels like they're struggling to go to the toilet, something like this to add in before bed is absolutely amazing it'll make sure you're straight to the toilet in the morning so really honestly can't rate this product enough one of my favorite products from ad just because it it truly works so we're going to do a bodybuilding scoop bodybuilding scoop in there i actually like to put loads of ice in there and then i just eat the ice call me strange and i've also added in 20 grams of glutamine into this shake as well so it tastes good as well which is great like a nice little treat for me before bed and then i have my pm supplements here so here it's just a mixture of like i use the mago 7 again which is a great digestive product helps you go to the toilet in the morning we've got like uh, astragalus for your kidneys we have um tudka for the liver we have bergamot for the heart health we've got omega 3, 3 6 and 9 for cholesterol along with some health supplements that i really recommend when you're on a cycle so we actually have telemosartan in there, metformin for blood glucose. We have zeterol for cholesterol. We have aspirin as well to thin the blood, especially when you're, you're on a, a PD cycle. I've also curcumin in there and ashwagandha. Curcumin is a great anti-inflammatory. Ashwagandha is really good for stress and, and relaxation. So I'll take these and then the secret guys. Before bed in California, they're, they're, they're um, legal. So THC, and I swear down, this is this stuff has made me sleep the best I've slept in years. 
So this one is a THC and CBN mixture. So you actually get 10 milligrams of THC and five milligrams of CBN per gummy. Now I take like one and a half to two and I swear down I have the best sleep ever. I will sleep from like 10 p.m. straight through to like 6 a.m. If you do have access to it, like I said, it's completely legal here. I highly recommend you should use them. Um, if you are someone who struggles with sleep. I'm someone who, you know, back in the day used to get up a lot in the middle of the night. So something like that really does help me to sort of wind down and sleep. So what, one thing that I always like say to clients and you know, people prepping is just keep everything you're doing consistent, you know. If you're using sources, by all means, keep using them. If you're not, then, you know, just do what you keep doing. You know, keep your sodium relatively the same. So again, we'll do six, four, five, six, six grams of salt in there. And then some apple cider vinegar. I'm limping a little bit. I don't know why I woke up this morning with my foot just fucking hurting. So whether I... I was probably so high from the THC, and, uh, THC last night. I must have banged it in the middle of the night and not even known about it. So if you see me walking, it's um, not because I legged it, it's actually because I hurt my foot. Apple cider vinegar in there. So that's my digestive supplements in. Gonna get these down the hatch. And this beautiful last meal. This might look like Master Chef to you guys. Master Chef, see? Good old lean minced beef. Mm the joys of prep. So let's get this in and chill. And then I'm, I guess in like quarter to 10, I'm, I'm straight to bed. <laughs> I'm putting these away so I don't get told off. This couch is dangerous, a dangerous place. This is the best investment I've made this year. Problem is when I have PM cardio, it's a nightmare because I have to get out of this couch. It's fucking hard. As you can see my posing trunks and camera ready for tomorrow morning. Get this meal in, put some YouTube on. Do it all again tomorrow so make sure you subscribe gonna have plenty more content soon i'm gonna get you guys some insight into some more prep and i'll kind of show you what show we're shooting for in the next few weeks so stay tuned like subscribe see you guys soon